Hello everyone, welcome back to Hasapu on Cardboard's channel. Today's video is about how the PCB system works, which the main part is going to be the PCB valve. So what does PCB mean? Positive crankcase ventilation. Now this is the crankcase. I drew the engine with the diagram that shows how the flow takes place. And what I'm going to do is no different than before. I'm going to bring the camera up close so you can see it, and I'll go over this. So let's get started. Okay, so now that we have a closer view, let's take a look at how this takes place. Under normal engine operation, fresh air is drawn from the atmosphere and then gets filtered by the air filter, obviously. This is the air filter housing. And as the air is drawn in, it goes past the intake manifold, enters the cylinder head through the intake port, and enters the cylinder when the intake valve is open. During the intake stroke, which is when the piston is going down as the crankshaft rotates, it draws it in. Then during the compression stroke is when both valves are closed and the piston goes up and then once the piston is all the way up and all the mixture is compressed the spark plug ignites the mixture and this creates the combustion stroke which forces the piston down during the combustion stroke is going to be when some of those gases or unburned fuel will make it past the rings and past the cylinder into the crankcase and those vapors that enter the crankcase they're usually referred by as blow-by or blow-by gases so as they enter the crankcase, they're still in a vapor stage and this is the perfect time to remove them before they get mixed with the oil and create sludge. And that's the job of the PCV valve. So how does the PCV valve work? So where I said that there's fresh air that's entering the engine, creating a vacuum. Well, there's a hose that's attached right here to engine vacuum directly to the PCV valve. And at the same time, in order for this vacuum to work, there's got to be fresh air coming in. So there's another hose that is attached to another side of the engine. Usually, in older engines, both of these items were in the valve covers. It was super easy to distinguish the PCV system because you had one vent hose going to the air filter housing, and then you had a PCV valve hose on the other valve cover that was attached to engine vacuum. Very easy to distinguish in the past, like I said. Modern vehicles are a little bit harder because there's a lot of stuff going on, but they still work the same way. Since they work the same way, we made the drawing very simple. So, the fresh air is being drawn in, right? So, because this is creating another vacuum, small, not as small as the cylinders, but nonetheless, it's trying to draw air in. So there's got to be a ventilation system. So as these gases that made it past the rings and the pistons enter the crankcase, this suction, if you want to call it, that is created by the PCV valve, draws them back into the engine and those gases get mixed with the fresh air and they enter the cylinder during the intake stroke when the valve opens so they get burned in the mixture instead of polluting the atmosphere. Very simple but a very helpful device. It accomplishes two things. Obviously the main one which is what we just described, right? Burning those deposits and sterilizing them pollute. And another one is relieving this pressure that's being created in the crankcase because otherwise, if there is not a system to ventilate that, that pressure would escape through the gaskets and it would create oil leaks. Plus, just like I mentioned earlier, those gases would get mixed with the oil and it would create sludge. And that sludge would be the cause of premature engine wear. So we're going to move on to what are the main causes of blow-by. The very first one is going to be the high combustion chamber pressure, which usually happens during combustion. Number two is going to be the necessary work and clearance of the piston rings and their grooves. The clearance is very minimal, it's in thousands of an inch, but nonetheless there's got to be some clearance in order for the parts to move. Then you have number three, piston ring shifting that aligns two or more ring gaps. As the engine operates, there's a possibility of the rings rotating and there will be times that the gaps will be aligned, creating a way for the gases to go through. Then you have number four, which is reduction of piston ring ceiling contact with the change of direction of the piston travel. So as this piston is changing direction thousands of times per minute, these rings are going to flex a little, and that would be another contributor of some of those gases passing through. So these are some of the most common causes of blowout. And now let's move on to take a look at the PCV valve itself. I drew two different ones, one where the PCV valve is open and one where it's nearly closed. Before we go over the flow, let's see what's inside the valve. So you have the plunger, you have a spring, and you have the passages and the seat for the plunger right here. 